Hello and welcome to this video. So, how to be woke? What is the term woke? It is a term that I've heard recently, um, which is about being more aware, opening yourself up to this physical reality, which is, you know, in this whole multiverse of beautiful positive energy of spiritual energy of, of a prana and chi and consciousness and everything that we have been probably blinded by for many years and unknowing what is around us so how to be woke what is the term woke to me i haven't done much research on this it's just a term that's out there but it's how i've been living my life for the past 20 or so years understanding about consciousness reality health um, meditating um, learning about truth it could be aliens everything it's basically expanding your awareness but how to what are the right tools in order for you to get to your destination or wherever we are going being woke is about for me being or well, understanding who what when and where we are in relation to so many past lives into our present life our focus, our dedication, our compassion, our authenticity in understanding about where we are going and finding our purpose and living our purpose and not wasting any second, any minute that we can to really strive, thrive and learn and grow in this physical reality because life gives us so much. Really life is a blessing, it is a gift to be in this beautiful body that we're not just an energy floating around in the in the afterlife waiting to come back into a physical body that we have the opportunity right now to go out and do anything that we want and we choose to be and do we have the potential to do anything manifestation is a big key in in spirituality and consciousness is that whatever you want out there you can have it it's just putting the complete faith in the universe all the time but it's not just waiting for things to happen you have to do the work you have to be ready you have to go there out there if what you want isn't hurting anybody isn't causing any negativity is for the highest good and you are being actively seeking information and doing what you love then you can attract anything that you want you just need to be in the right places at the right time and not being hidden away being woke is about being balanced it's about having your own personal space for yourself to meditate to grow to reflect to really have the truth inside you and taking a step back from from reality and i'm not talking about taking plant medicines and things like that it's basically going within yourself and reflecting and understanding okay this is what's happened today go in meditation and just allow whatever's to happen being woke is about not just the spiritual aspect of consciousness and meditation, you can do all that. It's not about doing yoga and doing different poses, it's about health as well. It's about giving yourself a healthy heart, about working out physically, getting out of blood pumping, getting all those small little rivers and, and lakes and that blood flow in your body, pumping around and circulating all that good nutrients that you're putting inside your body with the right diet that is good for you, that you are following your body, which your body needs certain things to live and survive. So being woke is not just about the understanding of what is out there, but putting in your body that, doing the research, things that you know, things like spirulina, maybe you've never heard of spirulina, maybe you have, um, eating a good quality protein that is you know good sourced um, you know in a vegan ethical healthy organic way best as possible and even if it isn't any of those then you may do with what you have with your budget that you have but you know basically we shouldn't be wanting more we shouldn't be wanting less it's about having that balance another thing that a lot of people have you know discovered or are discovering at the moment is probably conspiracy uh, stuff is truth that is out there but what is truth? There's so much photoshopped and video editing now that we don't understand what is real and what isn't. But you have to follow your heart and see the evidence for yourself that is out there. All the information is out there. However, we are ruled in this reality. However, whoever is in charge of us, spiritually, physically, who knows? 
The information is out there for sure, but the real information is inside of you because you've come into this physical reality to have this physical experience, to have a spiritual experience. Do not waste any time. That is a big tip that I'm going to give you. Do not waste any time to learn, to grow, to experience. But it's also about having balance, about having fun, letting yourself go, detaching, let yourself unwind. But never stop learning. That's one thing that I continuously always do is never stop learning a new skill, a new way of life because it's never wasted. That knowledge has never ended because you take all that information with you into the next life, into the into the afterlife to help assist others that need your help also in the skill set that you have. So if you have a great abundance of knowledge in sort of, I don't know, painting or artistry, um, being creative and hands-on sculpture work, then you can take that, that experience with you into the afterlife and teach, um, you know, help guide your medium or whatever it is. So no, no information is ever lost. No information is ever completely destroyed because it's always there to obtain. And that's the beauty about life, about reality is that every thought, feeling, action, every knowledge, everything that is valuable and known to us it is accessible in one way or another. We are connected in, in many different ways that we can access information all the time. So um, another big thing that I'm very much heavily into and interested in is, is holding space, having really good energy around you in your home. This could be like Feng Shui, if you heard of that before. This is um, also a way of clearing your environment, keeping things clear. Now what I like to do every six months or every year is go through all the things that I own. And sometimes I do a big car boot sale, sometimes I throw things out, I recycle. And if I haven't used it in the last couple of years, I, I get rid of it. If it's not important to me, then I get rid of it because it's no use to me. Sometimes I do miss things and like, oh, I wish I had that from the, you know, those years ago, but it's just a memory. But I like to have things that help assist me and that I use all the time and I, I love and I enjoy because I don't want to be completely materialistic because I'm not here forever, you know? Um, I'm not saying I'm going anytime soon. I'm saying that you know, another 50, 60, 70 years or more, then my body no longer is probably here. I'm probably in the afterlife and all this stuff that I own, where does it go to? I want to leave a good legacy behind that is for people to follow or, you know, have a family and educate them and into the right directions. So this is where mediumship comes into important play is that if you've heard the term seances or circles or holding space or meditations together, that is very important, very powerful, because it is not just physical people that come together to create circles and to create gatherings. It is also, you don't just have the person in, in that scenario, you also have the overshadowing of a spirit, of, of a guide, helping assist you in that process, helping you be more aware, more woke, <laughs> more clairaudient, clairsentient, more, more clairtangence, everything to being giving you more clear eyesight, more clearer hearing, and not so much physically. I'm talking about having the, the clarity to see the truth in this reality, to see through the BS, as we call it, um, to see through things that don't serve us, that are we being controlled? Are we being, you know, pushed down? Are we being, you know, suppressed? Or are we living our potential? And being woke is about being strong together about not creating a group or a sect or some sort of group or anything. It's about being an individual, living your life as pure as can be for yourself, looking after your body, about doing cleanses, clearing the mind, allowing beautiful positive energy to come in, um, feeding your body with the right energy, with the right foods, the right nutrients, the right um, supplements, everything that your body needs and you feel good on because when you take these things you don't feel hyperactive, you feel nutritionally topped up and that is important to be aware. Being woke is about awareness, about awareness of the mind, body and spirit and the reality that you live around, that you are in this reality and you are understanding more about it. It is about learning, about meditating, it is about being your own medium about finding the information and getting to 
your purpose and understanding about where you are heading and you can do that all the time. So you get to a point in life when you don't need to meditate every day. You are in a meditation and every second, every minute that you are living, you are in the present moment without your mind taking you into the past, into the future. You learn that skill set to be present in this moment, in this very moment. Like right now, are you aware of your, your right foot, your big toe on you? Or have I just made that aware of you? Are you aware of your whole physical being, the way you are sitting, is your back straight? Are you comfortable? Is there any pains in your body? It has been aware and tuning into your physical body all the time. This is about being aware, about being woken up. You can start to communicate with your body because you're in that awareness state that you can allow it to cleanse on itself, by itself, without taking certain things and supplements to cleanse out the body. You can get to that state where you are aware, where you are woke in your body that, you know, do not, you know, dream but do not sleep. That is the motto, is that, you know, live in this moment all the time as best you can. And that is a spiritual balance about, you don't have to meditate for hours and hours every day. You may achieve, you know, great enlightenment, but you are here to live this physical path and to be doing the duties that you need to do to live your life and whatever life purpose you have that is in your heart that you have. If you are into eco building, if you are into art, you know, being creative, you're into helping, helping, uh, you know, people, you know, with all sorts of problems, disabilities, mentally, physically, if you are a carer, anything, way in life, you name it, every, every work has a purpose in itself. But it's where we are heading and how conscious we are in that process and how much our decision making is helping us, you know, get to our, our destination on our path. So being woke to me, this is my definition, is about knowing you, is about putting in the work to understand about yourself much better and having that peace in yourself that you are content with you, that you are happy, that you are present, that you are in this very moment, that you are in love with yourself, that you are proud of yourself. And if you're not those things, then you can work on those things. The important thing to do is don't beat yourself up. Be positive as much as you can. Know that there is hope in every situation. And you have the capacity to manifest and do anything that you want. But along the way, there are going to be things that are going to challenge you, that are going to challenge your mind, your awareness, especially in regards to truth, the conspiracy, um, the, the truth that is out there, as well as in mediumship. I've seen a lot of evidence of non-physical reality in the last 20 years, especially the last three or four years. I've seen a lot of evidence of spirit, of um, especially in regards to physical mediumship, you know, you name it, ectoplasm, apports, <laughs> lights, uh, manifestations, uh, sounds. I've heard spirit myself many years ago. I've seen spirit. I know it exists. It's just when we go through that cardboard box stage phase of our mind that, no, this isn't real. But then you go back and remember all the experiences that you've had, you start to become more aware of what reality is and how the synchronicities, the synchronicities in life that show you answers, that show you that you are heading in the right direction. If you are driving your car and suddenly you, you get to look down, like your intuition gets you to look down, like it's almost like your guide is pushing your, your head to look down at the, the mileage and suddenly you see like 113311 or some double digits on the clocks. It's showing you synchronicity that you are in the flow, that the universe is communicating back with you and saying, hey, we're here, we're listening, you're listening too because you've just recognized us. <laughs> so being woke is very important. It's about awareness. Now, one thing I'll leave you with is that spirituality and metaphysical stuff is completely different. See, metaphysical is to do with like chakras, to do with energy systems, to do with mediumship, crystals, consciousness, all that stuff, incense, yoga, if you want to call it, um, tarot cards, anything. And the other flip side is, you know, spirituality. And spirituality isn't about consciousness and the other stuff I've just been talking about. It's about letting go of fear. And there are only two core human emotions, love and fear. So if you are in the fear, you are in negativity, you are in fear 
in a negative state. And if you're in love, you are in a beautiful, positive space that allows you to grow and develop and to know more yourself without the stubbornness and without being stubborn to get you where you want to be. So just remember that being spiritual isn't it just about doing meditation and having crystals in your pocket and you know wearing hippie clothes if that's who you are it is about releasing fear and facing your fears because that is the very thing that you take into your next life in the afterlife in the next life to have your energy your your energy cleared to move on and this physical vessel helps that assists that through diet through exercise by learning, by not intoxicating your body with drugs and alcohol that are numbing us down and causing us problems. So don't just look after the universe and the environment, the people around you, but look after yourself. Remember there is only love and fear. It depends which one you are going to choose. And it depends how much woke you want to be. But once you start going down that rabbit hole of consciousness, it doesn't end. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.